Barbara Trisgeri, uh, Eye of the Beholder 3 is the piece, and it's a fiber art piece. I'm a fiber artist. I chose that coming to it through photography. I enjoyed photography since I was a little kid, and when I realized you could print photos on fabric, I was hooked. Gift quilts mainly to start until I started getting time to work on my own pieces for myself, and then it became the more artistic images that I took just because I loved taking them. This one, I took a picture of a frog in my yard and just was stunned when I took it inside and looked at it and zoomed in and saw the copper in the frog's eye. So I have taken many, many pictures in my yard of dragonflies and, and the frog. And to get this one, I knew that I wanted to print it on fabric and just be the photograph because it was stunning and would look great on silk since it's got that sheen that would mimic the the shiny shimmer on the frog in the pond. The texture is a very big part in, of quilting and fiber arts. Um, you can really get some great texture. For my pieces, since they tend to be organic sub subject matters, I tend to do an organic quilting, more organic and flowy. Um, to, to match the subject matter. I do think um, that artists have a definite responsibility to, to express themselves. And I think whether it's, I'm always happy, so I do happy flowers is, is one thing, way to go. But I, I really respect the artists who are able to put a statement in their pieces. Quilters have always put um, campaign ribbons, all kinds of, uh, messages in their quilting. Women were often the makers of quilts and they often did not have much of a voice. And so they used their medium to express things. Um, I'm kind of a shy person and I, and I shy away from a lot of messaging. So usually if there's a message in my quilt, it's ver very subtle. So it's always interesting to, to hear how somebody else has taken your piece um, in a very different way than what you intended.